Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I am Michael Nitez. Sorry for the lack of updates uh, of videos last week. I was a bit busy. So, but today I'm back with more YouTube videos. And today we'll be talking about a Japanese aircraft carrier. But this is not nor uh, no nor an ordinary aircraft carrier of the Japanese Navy. She was supposed to become a battleship, but in fact became the largest uh, aircraft carrier ever to be built during World War II. However, she didn't even get to serve a full year. What is this aircraft carrier, you may ask? We'll be talking about the Japanese Imperial Navy's, the Japanese aircraft carrier, the Shinano. Let's begin the story of this, of this mysterious and not well-known ship. The ship that would become Shinano was actually supposed to be a Yamato-class battleship. After uh, after Yamato and Musashi, there would be Shinano and two other warships. The two uh, those two warships were later uh, canceled during construction stages, but I'll be talking about them in a later video. Shinano would have been a more modified version of her older sisters Yamato and Musashi. However, things didn't go according to plan during the early stages of construction for Shinano. During the early stages of construction for, uh, for Shinano, the, however, the ship was uh, scheduled to be completed by 1945, but, and the Japanese were thinking after the sinking of, the HM, of HMS Prince of Wales and HMS Repulse, what would they do with the ship? Because they were not being really reliant on battleships now, despite having Yamato Musashi. So they decided to try, they, they decided to convert their big, uh, the next Yamato class battleship, Shinano, into a aircraft carrier. Due to how special Shinano was to her to her navy, the Japanese decided not to have any official photographer photograph Shinano, making her the only Japanese warship not to be photographed a lot. However, there are two known photos of Shinano. There was one from a reconnaissance plane, which uh, wasn't able to be found at the recording of this video. However, we do have this photo, taken from a Japanese naval tug during Shinano's initial sea trials, and uh, and she is a beauty. Be, uh, uh, from being built, she is the largest aircraft carrier in uh, the Japanese Navy has ever built, and remains the largest aircraft carrier in history to be in World War II. But to, the Japanese decided to make Shinano a heavily support, a heavily armed support cr uh, carrier, not a fleet carrier. The, the the difference between a support carrier uh, carrier and a fleet carrier I I is like the like the aircraft carriers in uh, in the Pearl Harbor, in, uh, for instance. They were used to carry planes to bo uh, to bomb cities and other ships. However, an, uh, a support cr uh, carrier like uh, like Shinano, when she was converted, uh, were built just to um, just to carry reserved fl uh, planes, fuel, and supplies to other carriers around to the uh, to the area. So she was more of a uh, so she was more of a supply carrier rather than a fleet carrier. Due to how little known it's known about the Shinano's construction uh, uh, during her time, uh, uh, during her time before her demise, it is unknown. It is unknown how what she performed successfully, doing uh, judging that the fact that she never actually did any full steam ahead trials and only did like a short term tr uh, trials. But despite being an aircraft carrier, she was still uh, she, uh, she was still uh, kind of identical machinery wise compared to her uh, to her half sisters Yamato and Musashi. Shinano and another aircraft carrier that that was based off of her island, the Tahoe, were the only two aircraft carriers to actually have an armored flight deck, taken from experience from the Coral Sea and the Battle of Midway. As armament, due, uh, oh, due to the fact that she was an aircraft carrier, she only carried armament for anti-aircraft weaponry, consisting of 16 Type 89 dual, uh, dual guns and 8 turrets, one on, each, uh, corn, uh, one on each side of the ship. Well, four on each side to be exact. She was also armed with 105 to uh, 96-25mm dual-mounted anti-aircraft guns. 
However, Shenano's not launch didn't go quite according to plan. During the launch, la- during uh, during the launch, one of the compassions, which is like a a, a blocking system to block water, actually fa- actually failed due to uh, due to negligence, and the water caused the ship's bow to be uh, to be smashed in by the wall of the launching uh, of the launching um the uh, of the launching concrete foundation. Her bow was damaged. However, repairs had to do swiftly because, do, known that this was during 1944, the Japanese uh, the the Japanese rushed to finish Shinano. The, uh, this would lead to Shinano's downfall uh, only to uh, only o- only a short amount of days after her commissioning. Only a short amount of time after her uh, after being launched, Shinano had a mission. She was to compl- uh, She was to take two uh, fifty pl- fifty kamikaze type planes. To uh, uh, these planes were actually the Yokosuka uh, Yokosuka MXY seven Oka model planes, uh, especially built for kamikaze runs, suicide planes. The Shinano would deliver fifty of them to the front lines. She would be under the command of Tashio Abe. However, the uh, Captain Abe uh, begged the Japanese Navy not to let Shinano run, due to because she, uh, due to the fact that most of her watertight doors have not been installed yet. To make matters worse, most of the crew was inexperienced, and to ma- and to make worse of that, the three escorting uh, destroyers. Isokazi, Yukikazi, and Hamakazi had just returned, and they needed some serious repairs. However, Captain Abe's class, uh, uh, Captain Abe's uh, request was denied. This would be a huge mistake. Shinano's fate was sealed. At 1800 hours on November 28, 1944, Shinano departs on her first and final voyage. Captain Abe. And two hundred and two thousand one hundred seventy-five men set out on their journey to to feel how important Shinano was to her to her navy. Abe was a, was ta- was slated as rear admiral following her commissioning. However, Shinano's fate would not be a good one. During the trip. Captain Abe was forced to make a nighttime run due to the fact that there was no aircraft cover. However, this would make no difference as the next day, Shinano would be gone. At 2048 hours, the USS Archerfish, commanded by Joseph F. Enright, spa- uh, picks up Shinano and her three a- escort destroyers on, the ra- on her radar. She follows them on a parallel course. One uh, one hour and a half later, Shinano picks up the sub uh, uh, picks up Archerfish. However, due to the zigzag pattern that they were forced to take, this brought Shinano right into Archerfish's crosshairs. Over the next few hours, it will be a game of cat and mouse. Shinano versus Ar- Archerfish. Captain Abe order, uh, orders Isoka- uh, Isokazi to attack. Uh, to attack. Then a few hours later, Shinano turns and. Uh, and and runs uh, for Archerfish. However, Archerfish gets to, into a position to attack. A few minutes later, Shinano turns to the south, her side fully exposed to Archer for our uh, to Archerfish. However, one destroyer. Uh, however, what is even more strange is that uh, is that the uh, one of the exploring, uh, destroyers on uh, Shinano's side didn't even spot the uh, Archerfish. However, due to a je- uh, due to the permission of a je- uh, of a depth charge attack, Enright ordered the uh, ordered the submarine to fire. At 315 hours on May uh, on November 29th, 1944, Archer USS Archerfish fires t- four uh, fires six torpedoes at the Japanese aircraft carrier Shinano. Four hits Shinano. One hits the stern. Uh, flooding the, some refrigeration rooms and killing many sleeping personnel in that compartment. The second, fl- uh, the second hits the outer, uh, uh, outer torpedo uh, uh, propeller shaft. It destro- and it floods the outboard engine room. The third torpedo hits boiler room number three, killing everyone on watch. And number four hit, uh, hits a compressor room and it, and ruptures a fuel tank. However. 
Just be, however, even though uh, Shinano's damage was severe, Captain A forced her along until the fourth tor until the last torpedo hit. This caused extensive flooding, and a few minutes after she was hit, she was already uh, giving a list of ten degrees. Then fifty. Uh, then the fifteen degrees. F uh, then fifty minutes. Uh, uh, fifteen. Uh, uh, fifty minutes later. Captain Abe orders the port of one of the port side rooms to be f count uh, to flood it to counterweight the balance of the of the slowly listing Shinano. This caused her to get a twelve degree list for a brief time while forcing the cr the crew on their regular duties. Half an hour later, yeah, Shinano is uh, speed is sailing at ten knots with a thirteen degree list to starboard. Then, then, uh, uh, then, so at six at oh six hundred hours, the fl the flooding it gets a bit worse. Captain Abe orders more rooms to be uh, flooded to counter flood the balance weight. At oh seven hundred hours, the uh, Captain Abe uh, orders the orders the engine room to be turn uh, to be shut off. Due to the lack of steam in the engine room, due to the flooding, Shinano's captain then orders Hamakaze and Isokaze to to uh, to uh, to get chain uh, to get chains onto Shinano to uh, to help kind of the weight to tow her in. However, the chains snap under the weight. Shinano is too heavy and too large for the two destroyers. At ten uh, at ten eighteen hundred hours. Captain uh, Captain Tashio Abe orders everyone that is still alive over the Shinano to abandon ship. At this point, Shinano has a thirty degree has a thirty degree list and is still sinking. As she listed in even further, one of the open elevators sucked in water, sucking in many swimmers to back into the ship as she sank and to their deaths. At 10:57 uh, hours on tw on November 29th, 1944, it's done. Shinano ca finally capsizes and sinks stern first into the sea. 1,435 men are dead, including Captain Tashio, uh, including ca uh, Captain Tashio Abe. The uh, the crew the t uh, the group of survivors, which consists of one thousand uh, one thousand and eighty men, were rescued and were isolated on the island. Uh, how and were rescued uh, in January nineteen forty five, where they suppressed the grief loss of Shinano. Due to how secret Shinano was, the the U.S. Navy didn't even know about Shinano, even after Captain Wright did say that he had sunk the the aircraft carrier known as Shinano. The the navy thought it was just it was just like one of those smaller one of the smaller uh, Japanese carriers. However, it was after the war that they finally knew about Shinano. He Captain Enright was awarded was awarded a medal for his uh, for his heroic sinking of the uh, of the uh, Japanese Imperial Navy's aircraft carrier Shinano. A devastating blow to the Japanese navy. After the sinking. Shinano is now known as the biggest aircraft carrier to be ever sink uh, to be ever sunk by a uh, by a submarine. It was only after her wreck has been found that her re that her true story of her sinking was known. When she was discovered upright, it was then discovered uh, her wreck uh, showed of, of what really happened during her sinking. A joint uh, a joint in in her many uh, in one of the many um anti-aircraft portions of the ship was faulty and poorly made. This was also shared with the other Yamato-class battleships, Yamato Musashi. So even though she was an aircraft carrier, Shinano had some features that were transferred to her from her half-sisters. This caused an I-beam to, to dislodge from one of the boiler rooms and punch a hole into the next boiler room, causing more water to flood. The executive officer also said that he heard uh, air gas ru uh, rushing through the clo through the do uh, through the watertight doors. This meant that water was rapidly entering the ship, proving the doors unseaworthy. This would mean the death of Shinano, the biggest aircraft carrier to be sunk and be built during World War II. Due to the fact that the Navy was rushing to build Shinano, they had forgot the com key components that made the ship uh, that made the ship unseaworthy. This led to her death. It is quite surprising that an 872 foot aircraft carrier was sunk by four torpedoes of a ju from an American submarine. But it did happen, and it caused the deaths of many people aboard Shinano, including the legendary Shinano herself.
Hopefully, by making of this video, she will not be forgotten. And even though she was an aircraft carrier, I still consider her a sister ship to Yamato and Musashi, just like the other two warships that were never built. Uh, however, they're known as half-sisters, Shinano is still part of the Yamato class in my heart. Shinano was commissioned on, no on November 19th, 1944, and sunk on November 29th, 1944. She was only in service for 10 days. Thank you for watching this video of the tragic short li life of the Japanese aircraft carrier Shinano. Hopefully, by the making of this video, everyone will remember Shinano as one of the greatest ba aircraft carriers. She was the largest aircraft carrier ever to be built by the Japanese Navy, and it still is the largest aircraft carrier to ever to be built in World War II. Sadly, she was never lived a full life, and was only sunk 10 days after commissioning. A, com a converted aircraft carrier, formerly uh, supposed to be a Yamato class battleship, she is still a dream in, in many hearts, including mine. Thank you very much for enjoying this video, and uh, and please pay respect to those who died aboard Shinano, including herself, on November tw 29th, 1944. Thank you for joining. Uh, thank you for watching this video. This is Mike Benitez signing out on the story of the Japanese aircraft carrier. The Shenano.